Howdy y'all, welcome back to Zeman Outdoors. Today I'm going to unbox and set up this BOG Death Grip tripod. So I've heard a lot about these, I see a lot of people on YouTube and Instagram using them. So it's something that I thought I could actually benefit from out at our property if I wanted to do some spot in stock or I have a few spots where I just don't have stands set up yet. So I may just pull a chair up or I may do a ground blind somewhere. And having a good tripod was something that I thought would be beneficial. And this is something that I did receive as a Christmas gift. So I didn't buy it myself, but it wasn't given to me to do a review on. Something that just came from my family. So I'm going to go ahead and start unboxing this. And I will read off some of the statistics and stuff about it as I do that. So just pulling that out, first thing I got to say is it does have some weight to it. That thing's pretty heavy. Um, I do think they make a lighter version of this. So like I said, the first thing I noticed was the weight. This thing's, this thing's pretty freaking heavy. I don't have the weight off the top of my hand here, but I mean it is about as heavy duty as it gets. There's a good and bad thing to that. You know, if you're carrying this around the woods, this thing weighs a ton. If you are just going to be using it, pulling it out of your four-wheeler or something like that, setting it up, or using it just to shoot at the range, probably not a big deal, but I will say it is heavy. So this has a shooting height adjustment from 7 inches to 59 inches is what they say. 7 inches being you can basically put it flat out and shoot from the ground. Not a lot of people will probably use it like that. It looks like it does say on the box, it's eight and a half pounds. So it is pretty heavy to carry around. And we'll just open up the instructions and see if it talks about it. So it just talks about clamping your firearm, uh, changing the adjustment of the leg angles. It looks like the leg pin can be adjusted to any three preset angles, 20%, 45%, 85%. And you can also adjust anywhere in between that as well as is what it looks like. And the bottom has, uh, looks like some little spikes on it that you can screw out so that it can stick in the ground a little bit better. But what's kind of nice is it looks like you can twist them in and out, whereas I have another tripod where they're always out. So it'll scratch stuff, it'll, you know, it'll just get in the way and it's kind of a pain. This, you know, I can hit my hand on it right now and there's nothing sticking out of it, which is pretty nice. It has this strap here. It just uses a little button so you can just pull it off. And so the strap just sits there and then that allows you to open up the legs. So you can just set them like that. So, I mean, this thing is just feeling it. It is pretty dang heavy duty. You've got adjustments here where you can open up and make the legs taller or shorter, kind of like any standard tripod. I don't know if y'all can see that, but you can just clip them open and close. There's two different ones. It looks like, um, oh, there you go. So there's the, the leg. And like I said, if you tighten up this leg here, you have a little pin that sticks out so that it'll dig into the ground. If you unscrew it a little bit, it covers that pin so that you won't scratch anything. So that's pretty nice. It looks like you can lock the legs at those angles that I had said. I'll bring it down a little bit so you can see it. But there's these red pins here at the top. And if you push it one way, it'll lock it to that first angle degree and you can push it back and then you can adjust it further if you want. Let's see. And there's another leg angle right there. So it has, like I said, three preset adjustments. And then, like I mentioned before, if you put all legs out like this, you can shoot laying down or prone. So that's kind of cool, pretty, pretty useful. I don't think there's too much else to look at on the legs. It actually has, I don't, you probably can't see it, but it's got a little window here of adjustments. So it says 20, 45, and 85. And that's telling you where that leg will click in. So 
For example, this window is showing 20, so it's going to stop me at 20 from opening up. And like I showed before, you can go all the way up to 85, which is all the way out like that. So legs have quite a bit of flexibility from what I can tell. One of the legs has a pad on it. My guess is that's for you to kind of hold or grab as you transport it. It has this strap on it to hold all the legs together. I will say, like, you know, it takes a little bit to, to undo it or make the legs start coming apart. Pretty cool setup on the leg system. So then this specific one, not all of them, you can buy them with different mounts on the top. This specific one comes with the, what they call the death grip. And so it allows you to put a gun in here and I will set up a, a gun, but it's got a knob here on my left that opens and closes your grip window. So it opens up pretty wide. I don't know if it gives me a distance of how wide it opens. It does not look like it does. If y'all have any questions on how wide this is, feel free to drop me a comment and I'll, I'll take a measurement and can get that to y'all. But then you can tighten it to about that tight, which is pretty narrow. I think most guns are gonna fit in there. Again, if you need the measurement, I can take a measurement, so feel free to just drop me a comment on that. Then it has a knob here on the other side that I think is your adjustment for your angle. So you can see, you know, I can move that pretty free, freely right now. And then you can tighten it up and it's not, it's not going anywhere. And then it looks like you've got another knob here, which let's see. I believe that allows you to twist left and right. So let's see if I missed any key pieces. So the legs are aluminum. I'm not sure I missed that. Um, there's a bubble level that's on the top that allows you to get uh, your tripod level. I already talked about the clamp. Uh, it says it's non-marring rubber insert, so it shouldn't scratch up your gun. It does look like that. So it looks like this knob here allows you to twist in 360. Just, I haven't been able to, it may just be a little tight, but I'll have to take a look at that. Maybe once I get a gun on there and have some weight on the top, it'll have a little more leverage, but all in all, this thing is, it is heavy duty. So I'm actually, this may be a tough spot. I'll try it and see if I can get it to get on the video, but I'll put my gun on here and get it set up and let you know how it works. So I have it sitting on a 20% angle right now. So you can rotate that. It is a little tight. May have to get some WD-40 or something to loosen it up. There we go, it's loosening a little bit there. So let me go grab my gun and we will set it in here and see how well it holds it. So here we have my 308 that I built. I was not grab my six and a half that I just did a video and build on, but this was easier to grab, so I'm gonna start with this one. Make sure it's unloaded. You want it to be as safe as possible. So it's unloaded and we will put it in the grip here. So I'm not sure if there's a, a method to where to grab the gun here. Maybe move it up a little closer to so it doesn't bend. So I've got it set up so you can adjust up and down like this. Your left, right's pretty easy. You can tighten that up with the knob on the right. I wouldn't over tighten it. I mean, it's still gonna move a little bit, but I mean, this thing's pretty sturdy. Obviously it's not at a good height for me, but as you can see, you know, this thing's not going anywhere. It's pretty heavy duty. It's got the levels I mentioned right here on the tripod. It's actually pretty easy to see, which is nicer than most of the tripods I've seen. They either don't have a level or they're not easy to, to see, but holds an AR pretty well, which is one of the heavier guns you're going to be, you know, using or seeing here. I would say depending your type of AR, you probably want to be careful uh, when you pinch this down because you don't want to squeeze your handguard too tight and cause any uh, bending of the handguard, which I don't know if it would, but that's why I'm putting it all the way back as, as far back on the handguard as I can. I mean, it's in there pretty good. So pretty cool. 
I think I will definitely get some good use out of this. So as y'all can see, this gun fits nicely in the tripod. This is an AR-10-308 that I built. I've actually went ahead and pulled out a couple other guns, tested it on this tripod. They all fit easily, don't have any issues with them. I just wanted to grab one of my heavier guns and make sure that it could hold up the weight and everything. But like I said, this thing is heavy duty. It's eight and a half pounds. It's aluminum. I mean, it's pretty solid. So I'm pretty happy. I'm excited to, to take this out there and see uh, how it works in the field. My one concern on it, I would say, is how heavy it is. So I don't think I'll be carrying it around too much with me. It'd be more of a, you know, I'm going to sit in a blind or I'm going to go sit just out on the, the open field edge and, and try and hunt coyotes or hogs. So that'd be my use for it. I'll definitely use it for sighting in my gun and things like that as well as it can hold a, hold it pretty nicely here. So all in all, I'm really happy with this. I will potentially do another review later after I've used a little bit, see how it handles recoil from a gun. I've seen some videos of people using it with 308s or even larger caliber guns and haven't had issues with it with the recoil. So not too worried about that. But if I have any issues, I'll definitely make a post about it. So I appreciate you all watching this video as well as the other review videos I have out there from all the Christmas gifts that I've gotten. I can't thank my family enough. They really spoil me. I've had a, a great Christmas and New Year's. I hope you all have had a wonderful holidays as well. And if you all have any questions on this BOG tripod, the death grip mount, or anything else, feel free to drop me a comment below or shoot me an email, which is in the description below as well. I try and do a good job of following up with everyone that reaches out to me, so I appreciate all the support. And I hope you all enjoyed this video. And on my next video, I will be setting up my ATN X-Sight 4K Pro 5-20X Smart HD Night and Day Vision Scope. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification, so you can be notified when I do the unboxing and setup of this scope. Thanks for watching.